Welcome to our second video, where we continue to talk about Twine Compound and what it can do for your projects. Let's go back to that large project that we were using in the first video. I've made some tweaks to this project so that it'll take a bit longer to compile, which allows us to demonstrate some of the additional features of Twine Compound. I've also turned on some warnings and errors and things like that, so we can see how Twine Compile handles those as well. Let's start by taking a look at probably the most, one of the most useful features in Twine Compile. If we start the build process like we did in the previous video, it's going to start and it's going to start compiling all those files. Let's slower this time. And we can take this dialog, we can drag it to the side. And because Twine Compile always compiles projects in the background, we can continue to work on the project editing any of the code files, making any changes, tweaks, suggestions, while the compile is happening in the background, without the compile interfering with what we're doing. For example, I can edit this file with the CPP, I can remove the comment I just put in, the compile is happening in the background, I get to see the progress, but it doesn't interfere with my working on the code base. That's all very well and good. But the dialog box is kind of annoying because it's sitting on top of everything and I want to look at things. So the next thing we want to talk about with Twine Compile is the fact that all of the dialogs are showing compile information, whether it's the compile progress or as you'll soon see, the compile error and warning dialog are always dockable windows. And you can use Rad Studio's built-in dockable window support to create an environment which puts your compiler information, messages, uh, status, output in whatever configuration suits you. So let's go ahead and dock these windows and see what that looks like. My preferred way is to dock these windows at the bottom of the screen in the same pane which Rad Studio uses for the messages window. So let's open the messages window up and it'll appear on the bottom of the screen. Now we'll take a compile window and we'll drag it down into the messaging area and let's put it on the left. Let's take the compile message window, which we can see contains a whole bunch of warnings, and let's put it in the right hand side. Now we have at the bottom of our screen, we have a compiler status on the left and our compiler messages on the right. And if we go ahead and build the project again, we will see that the dockable windows give us our status without interfering with our ability to write code. You can preserve the location and position of these windows by saving your layout as a, either a custom layout or the default layout for the IDE desktop. For example, if I go here, save desktop, and I choose default layout and save it, it will ask me if I want to use the default layout and replace it. I say yes. And at this point, whenever I start the IDE, the Twine Compile windows are going to stay there and show up in the positions where I like to see them. And this allows you to preserve your favorite coding environment and come back to it whenever you use the IDE. And the fact that their background compiling is available and automatic in Twine Compile means that those Compile processes won't interfere with what you're doing, and you can continue to work while seeing the status and the warnings show up in the screens. You'll notice that the compile message window is slightly different to the Rad Studio compile message window. It's got some additional features, and let's go ahead and um, let's actually make an error happen in this code file. Let's make a change to the code. I'm going to change that. This is going to cause one warning and one error to appear when I build this specific file. So the first thing you can see is obviously the error shows up. A nice error message that we all expect coming straight from the compiler. And then we've got the warning just below. As with the regular IDE message window, if you double click on the error, it automatically takes you to the location in the code where that error or warning appeared. You can use these toggles at the top of the compiler message window to turn on and off any of the messages that you don't want to see. For example, if I turn off errors, 
I will only see warnings in my compile messages. Alternatively, I can turn off warnings, and this will only show me the warning messages. This is not a permanent change and only affects the errors and warnings that are displayed for the particular compile. The compiler will still co stop when it finds those errors. It will still find all the warnings, but you won't see them show up in the compile message window. And this can be used to reduce the clutter that you see in the compile messages. These are some of the Twan compile features that are available out of the box to improve your productivity. Twan compile is more than just faster compiles. It's a suite of utilities and a whole working environment designed to make your development in C++ Builder as productive as possible.